Hello everyone, Megatronic here, and today we're going to be going over my top 23 figures of 23, and um, I'm going to be shooting it for once on my review table because I'm pretty sure everyone is sick and tired of looking at my ugly mug with the unboxings. <laughs> now, before we get started, I need a reminder for myself. Um, I wanted to put him in this list, but he just got here today, and it's the 2nd of January, same goes with Oil Slick. Um, sadly, these two can't go on the list. These two are great figures, as I owned him before. I just, you know, my anime collection went bye-bye. And then, um, well, I, I've seen really great things from Chase. So, I guess this is an honorable mention. Possibly a top ten in the future. So, yeah. Yeah. This is also probably the only year I'm going to be doing, uh, like, 20 or more so bots. I'm doing this mainly because there was a lot of great figures that came out this year. Um, and I kind of stray... I, I didn't collect for a bit. I've also been rebuying animated. And, uh, funny note, I found some animated figures that I never owned or some that just never made my list that I got brand new and are on this list. And I was like, I want to include them. I'll include newer figures, so we're just going to do a big old 2023 thing. <clears throat> now, uh, we're going to be starting from 23 to whatever, because... But before we start that, let's take a look at all the honorable mentions. Now, honorable mentions, I don't have... They're, they're still on the shelf, but um, I'm just going to say real quick, because I don't feel like moving down... My honorable mentions have to be Core Nemesis Prime from Legacy, Core Thundercracker, Trash Master, because I got Trash Master for free, and I'll explain that in a minute. One of these uh, people's. Uh, the Alicon set that came with the uh, guys, the Watermelon G2 Mirage, the G2 Jazz. Um, basically, all of Toxitron besides for the uh, Cycle Jazz repaint that I just couldn't find. And... Uh, I don't know if there's any... Oh, uh, Legacy Dirge, I quite enjoyed him. And... The Buzzworthy Bumblebee Dying Prowl and Ironhide. I thought that set was pretty cool, and especially because I found it for, like, half price. And I believe that's it for honorable mentions. Um, oh, and uh, Blazing Lockdown from Animated, Swindle from Animated. And I think that's it. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, so... And finally, G2 Drag Strip. I couldn't include him because he was the final figure I got for last year. So, with starting in the 23rd spot, we have Cloud Cover from Toxitron. Now, I wanted to put Dirge on the list, but we already had Cloud Cover, and I didn't want to have two molds of the same on here. Except for one exception, which that will come later. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoy this guy. I really like the colors. I just... I really like Coneheads, too, and I'm surprised that I have a full set of the G2 cone heads before I do the actual cone heads. Hasbro, please give us that ramjet soon. <laughs> but yeah, I really like the patterning and uh, this guy is just quite fun overall. For spot 22, APC Toys Cliff Jumper. I, I don't, I, I can't remember. Gladiator, I think. Red Gladiator. I don't know. I got this guy, I believe, all the way back in either March or April before I, yeah, sometime. Very early this year, I got him. Um, I was a little disappointed by some of the loose joints here and there, but uh, this guy's just really done well. He did come with two Dark Energon shards and the humans from TF Prime. I just think he's uh, a great APC Toys figure overall done. While he's not my favorite APC Toys figure, he is a good one, and you should go get him and his zombie variation, which I need to get. 21. Legacy Shrapnel. Um, people think the Insecticons are boring. Uh, yes, he's very simple, but he's pretty good. He has pretty decent articulation, and just overall is a great figure. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a fan of these deluxe-scaled Insecticons. I really hope we get Chop Shop, Venom, and the other one, which I can't remember the name of, and of course, I still need to get Bombshell. But, yes, I really do enjoy the Shrapnel. You should go get one. The Insecticons are cool. I don't care what you say. 20. I think, right? Yes, 20. Detrius. 
treatise, whatever you call him. This guy is cool. Now, I got Trash Master for free because of him. Because if you see, he has two guns. I now don't mind it, but at first I kind of wanted the shoulder cannon. And Hasbro sent me a free Trash Master. So thank you, Hasbro. Not sponsored, but I didn't have to waste like 40 bucks on the Trash Master. So I'm not complaining. And I kind of like this guy with two guns. I kind of warmed up to it. Uh, but yeah, I do wish this was Hound, as this is a good mold for Hound, and I, one of the first Siege figures I've gotten other than like the little micro battle masters back in the day was, uh, I know back in the day, that's already almost six, seven years ago, or six years ago, round. Uh, Hound was just one of my favorites, I always love posing him around, and this guy is just so much fun and a good callback. I still have that Hound, but this guy, I just do prefer... And he's a lot more simple with the details, but hey, he's pretty good. Number 19. 86 Ratchet. Um, yeah, I do think that this guy is superior to the Ironhide. I did paint him up and uh, cut up his uh, skirt flaps. But yes, he is a great figure. I really do like him. Um, the only complaint is the little light bars like to fall off all the time. But that's it. I like, I like Ratchet. Ratchet's cool. Now give me a dying version. 18. A TFA Trooper. Uh, troopers in pl plural. Um, pretty good. Really do like them. I like the different heads. Obviously, I'm, I only have one of them here because I don't feel like bringing all three of them on. And I kind of lost one. So, yeah. <laughs> but this guy's pretty cool. Um, I really do like the color scheme. Just the blue and all the colors pop. And animated getting more recognition. Recognition? Hell yeah. Kiss players? Oh. 17. Beachcomber. I got this guy, I think, in summer. As an Alabama. I got him off Pulse. He's pretty cool. Um, Robert Tyrus are cool. I, uh, his bird's somewhere. <laughs> I don't really care for the bird, to be completely honest, but the rubber tires or the PC, the rubbery PC stuff that's not actual rubber, but it's trying to be rubber, is cool. People got into fights about Twitter on if it, it's not rubber or not. Calm down. Who cares? Let us enjoy the figure. Pin on wheels are pretty cool. I really do like the colors. I do wish there was a bit more silver or a different color than this gray. Not a huge fan of the gray, but this is a good beachcomber. And I never thought in a thousand years I'd have a beachcomber on my top 10 list. Or 2023 list, whatever. He's a good figure and a lot better than I thought he'd ever be. And just, you need to get him. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, he's so much better than Power of the Primes one, and has a lot of articulation, surprisingly. And, um, he's just fun. And he easily could have been an 86 figure, but, yeah. He, he, he's a good figure. Get him. 16. The G2 Trooper clones, or, yeah, these guys. Really fun. Uh, they took Skullgrin, and they just made him so much better. I think this is... Skullgrin was okay, um... I like the robot mode. The vehicle mode still kind of sucks, but this guy just has a presence, and uh, my camera is putting him off a more of a blue than a, he is like a green. Just imagine uh, the U.S. release of Six Shot. He he looks like the Japanese Headmaster Six Shot, but in person he is the American Six Shot Green. It, that that's my way of putting it. But yeah, this guy is pretty cool. I don't know why he's showing off as I I I, I don't yeah I don't know why he's join off as this green number 15 Braun. um Braun's pretty cool uh at first in the photos i was totally against him but having him in hand um he's so much better in hand than he is in the photos um my only complaint is that he has uh <clears throat> orange thighs i do wish these were green not orange but okay um i do wish he had a normal waist joint too and some wrists but it's fine uh, he is a good update to Braun, and I don't have my Times Return one anymore because I sold that off. But, I mean, yeah, he's just great. He has a spare tire that you can literally take off and use as a weapon. Um, and it's Braun, one of my favorite uh, little guys. So, I, I just, I really do enjoy him. And, um, yes. Number 14, Ironhide. Um, I think he's one of my better, one of the better animated molds. Um, he does have really good articulation, considering some of the animated figures can be quite limited. But that's due to time and constraints and all that stuff and how the character is supposed to look. Um, 
there are some complaints I do have about this guy, but um, the reason I have him on here is because I know how bad this mold can age, and considering I got this guy mint, I think um, is why he's on the list, and just because this is probably one of my favorite versions, if not uh, my second favorite version of Ironhide, and um, yeah, if only Season 4 came out, he would have became my favorite version of Ironhide, but uh, Prime Concept Art will uh, remain that to be Ironhide. Anyways... 13. We have Transformers Legacy Animated Universe Prowl. Um, this guy is just great. I really, really do enjoy him. Um, he has a great callback to the original Prowl, sharing his transformation bits, updating some where it needs to be. But yeah, this figure is just greatly overdone. And if you were to tell me this is animated Prowl button G1, I'd believe you. This is a really good blend between uh, G1 and Prowl, and it's just great. I really do like this guy, and um, I really want that Optimus. But yeah, that was that's 14. Or 13. 13. 13. Number 12. Armada Legacy Megatron. This guy, he's great. Shoulders, a bit iffy, but... Over, other than that, he's great. I do wish he came with Lita 1, but it's fine. Um, great posability, great articulation, great mold. This guy is just a blast to play around with, and I can't wait for Tidal Wave and the Galvatron repaint. Um, I just really do like this guy overall. I really like the shade of green. I really do like how he looks. The blues, the paints, just everything on him is pretty cool. Um, my only nitpicks were that he was a bit loose out of box, but I fixed that. And, um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. That was 12. 11. G2 Grimlock. Why? Because he's cool. Um, at first I was kind of iffy on wanting this guy because of the garish color scheme, but then the garish color screen scheme grew on me and wanted me to com totally complete the Toxitron collection, which I almost did. Uh, this guy's just been a blast to play around with, and since I had an extra sword from an older upgrade kit that was red and accurate to the Tiger Stripe Rimlock, um, yeah, this guy's just fun overall. Um, I did have an issue with loose hips, but I fixed that, and um, yeah, th th he's just a great figure. Great figure. Overall. Number nine, or are you number ten? Ten. This is ten. That was eleven. Uh, G two dead end. This guy is just fun. I really love the colors on him. Um, I prefer him over uh the normal dead end, and uh, I just the color deco, especially in vehicle mode too. And then this blue really pops, and for once, I actually do like the molded plastic, and it matches well with the painted blue. I just, works, works well. like it. Number nine. Probably my favorite out of the G2 guys. Uh, Sideswipe. G2 Sideswipe, for that matter. Um, he's pretty cool. Um, he was hard, hard to find, but luckily I found him when I was in Illinois for a bit, but... Yeah, uh, pretty cool. Really do like the sunset chest and stuff on them. The off-white is kind of weird. Uh, I do kind of wish it was a pure white. It's fine. Yellow and blue just work really well. And the orange bits uh, just pop. Same with the Autobot symbol. I really do like the white eyes too. It's weird how he shares Red Alert's head though. But yeah, and I do wish this was painted. But overall, I really do like this guy. And he's my favorite out of the G2 guys. Number eight is my last figure of this year, and there is some custom stuff on them because I wanted the panel line. Um, this is just a really great figure. Um, I do wish the head was a bit not animated, I guess, if that makes sense, but he is really good. Um, I really do enjoy this guy. I was, I guess I wasn't on the fence about him. It's just I didn't like him as much as Prime, but after having him in person and painting him up everywhere, you know, Adding black by his eyes, adding that black triangle in, giving him some panel lining. Um, I just, I really do like this guy. The only thing I ever really don't liked about him was the lack of paint. Everything else was fine. I just wanted more paint on him, which should have been done 
and accomplish at this price point, but hey, it's Hasbro. <laughs> but they did do a good job designing this guy. Um, once again, my only complaint is that the head is just too animated, if that makes sense. Because the rest of the body is just updated G1-ish Bumblebee, but the head's just animated, so yeah. Also, Bumblebee's on this list quite a lot. <laughs> but yes, I do like him. I do like the accessories he comes with. This is a great desk toy. You should get it now, or I will rip out your eyes. And number seven, I bet you didn't see this coming. Takara Elite Guard Animated Bumblebee. This guy just looks really, really well. And if you saw in the unboxing that I did uh, about a month ago, or a couple weeks ago, however long ago that was, um, this guy just looks so much better than the Hasbro one. You can see how much that much to do. Uh, this guy just looks so much better than the Hasbro one, and just the gold pops everywhere, and this red Autobot insignia for the Elite Guard looks really well done. Um, there's not, no, there's no weird yellow plastic, there's no just weird, just black, and just weird colors. Um, this guy, just, it shows that Takara knew what they were doing with some of these repaints, and, um, yeah, I miss animated, but this guy was really, really well done. Number six. Um, I would have put this guy higher, but some other figures kind of, you know. Um, the cancelled electromagnetic activators sound wave. Now, I did pay a lot for him, um, but it was well worth it. I, I really am glad I have this guy. He, he is fun, and I never owned the activator sound wave mold before, so this is kind of a, uh, first time having this mold for me, and, uh, glad I picked him up. I really do like this mold, and I kind of wish it, uh, was oversized for a deluxe as um he is quite fun um the arms are a bit weird but that's the only thing weird about him in my eyes is the arms he does have some great possibility in some areas better than the uh, deluxe does to be completely honest and um yeah i just really do like the colors so that's number six it's hard to get a frame for number five but legacy menace with the upgrade kit this guy just he gets the job done um this looks great uh, tech, I am counting this as a 2023 figure because technically I got the DNA design kit in 2023 and I also got breakdown at the very beginning of 2023. Don't believe me? There's breakdown. And I have an unboxing. I think I deleted or private it. I don't know. But yeah. Um, probably one of the best figures I've gotten so far for this year. And, um, Really, um, he's been a good death spot. Him and Blitzwing have been, and I haven't been able to put them down at times. It's kind of been gotten concerning with how much fun I have with them. Or, speaking of death spots and who I constantly manipulate, here we have Legacy Bludgeon. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I do have the Tarn. Oh, there he goes. He just fell. I do have the Tarn, I believe I got that very early, I think I got that in February or late January of this year, or last year. Um, this guy takes Tarn and just basically puts him at another level. Um, with Tarn, I think it was that toy guy, or I can't remember who said it, I can't remember which reviewer, but, you know, you give someone super pulsable, but then you just give them an arm cannon. But then if you give that guy a sword, repaint him, I just think this works better as Bludgeon. Um, yes, I do wish there was a bit more remolding, but this guy's great. I really do like him. The saw blades from uh, Tarantulas. But yeah, I really do like this Bludgeon. He's a great figure and, pro and you should really get him. Number three. Animated Purple Shockwave. And technically Bumblebee. These guys both get in their own spot since I did get him mint. Um, and it's the most expense, most money I spent on an animated figure so far. But kind of worth it. I really do like this guy. And um, he's just great. Colors are great. Posability is great. Bumblebee's great. He's probably my favorite animated figure. One of my favorite animated figures in my collection. It's just... It's so great finally having a G1 colored animated shockwave. So, this is kind of like a grill for me. So, yeah. Number two, animated Jetwing Optimus. Or, technically this is two put in one, but then I don't really care. 
This is the Takara Optimus Prime body with the Wingblade Optimus Prime jetpack. If you don't know, the Wingblade set only came with the transclearant plastic Takara Optimus Prime, and the, he was super loose, couldn't hold any of the stuff. But then I found this Optimus, no weapons unfortunately with him, but um, I found the Takara Optimus on eBay for 40 bucks, and I bought him right away because I had to have him. And um, he just looks great with this armor, and um, color matches really well. I really, really, really do like this guy, and he was close to becoming first, but I kind of wanted to have something first that came out in 2023, and something that still blew me out of the water, even though I did have high expectations for it. And that is the Commander Class 86 Ultra Magnus. This guy's great. Does a lot of cool stuff. Uh, my only complaint is the shoulders are a bit loose on my copy that I still haven't fixed yet. But other than that, and it's an easy fix. Other than that, this guy's amazing. And um, he is one of my favorite Transformer characters. So there's a bit of bias there. All of my favorite Transformer characters besides Thundercracker have appeared on this list. But yeah, this guy's great. And um, yeah, he has to be my number one. So yeah, that has been my top 23 of 23. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a bit longer, but hey, collection video is gonna be coming out in a couple days. I just need to um, do some stuff still and I need to fix a shelf as one of them has broken and I don't wanna have figures on it just yet. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what your guys' uh, top whatever's, whatever, top five, top 10, top 23 whatever they are just let me know it'll be fun to see what your guys's are and uh welcome to the new year i guess <laughs> sorry i couldn't upload this on the 31st as i wasn't home and i was out doing stuff all day and uh yeah so i'll see you guys in the next one